Welcome back to TGIF. All right, let's get back into the topics. Y'all remember when uh, Terrell, when Tio talked about his running with a Karen in his neighborhood? It was a whole, it was all over the internet. Well, the woman, Caitlin Davis, okay with these Caitlins, called the police on Owens, accused him of driving too fast and claimed he harassed her. Well, we have an update on the story. Now, Davis has since been charged with a misdemeanor for, wait for it, filing a false police report to the police. What are your thoughts on this update, Al? Listen, I'm glad this has happened. I'm glad that Terrell exposed her. I'm glad we're covering this on our platform. Ooh, I love working at Fox Soul. I'm glad that this made national attention and national news. And I'm glad this woman got caught and got charged. And I hope this sends a message to everybody, not just to Karen, but to anyone else who weaponized their race for bad. Now take your ASS to the second floor and pay the magistrate your fine or go straight to jail. I heard that. Q, what you think? Listen, I'm with you when you're right. Um, I've been saying we need to start a Karen registry and low key Google is that cause her name gonna be all in the system. Anytime she go for a job, it's going to be in the system. And I'm going to tell you something. I wouldn't be surprised now because, you know, white people embarrass very easy and they get kicked out of their social circles very easy. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if when she go to swipe my card at the country club is revoked. I wouldn't <laughs> be surprised if they demoted her off the PTA and said it's not a good look <laughs> for the school. Some of the parents were concerned. They probably kicked her off the HOA board. And her and her husband are probably in the process of getting ready to list their home now because <laughs> she needs to move because poor Karen is embarrassed. Wham, wham. That's what y'all get. I don't feel bad for her. I wish they go ahead and make it a felony charge to do this because it was racially motivated. And let this be a lesson to you all out there. Folks ain't putting up with y'all SHIT no more. So pay your fine, ho. <laughs> I think, <laughs> listen, I love the idea of a Karen registry. This thing should have been a thing since Rosewood. Let's go back to Rosewood. This yeah. was not what that was all about. A mm -hmm, white woman right. lying and blaming, uh, saying a black man raped her when she was really getting banged out by the local hillbilly. And she tried to blame it on a black man. Had all those people get lynched. And have we not learned anything from that? And now we have the 2022 version of that where they call the police and lie and say a black man did X, Y, and Z. And then they cry. I love that this woman is being held accountable. We need more of it, but we need the penalties to be harsher to discourage this behavior. If it's just like mm -hmm. a misdemeanor and like, okay, you're embarrassed, you'll get over it eventually. I mean, you will have some uh, some negatives at first, but there needs to be real penalties. If we can have black people still sitting in jail where we're over weed charges, while the rest of us out here buying it legally, we can have women like this that could really put someone's life and future and li in livelihood in jeopardy because of your lie. It should be a felony. Claudia, I got a question. And soulmates out there that are in law enforcement, answer this question for me. Since uh, Black Lives Matter and, and Karen's have become a thing, has there been any training in the law enforcement atmosphere Whereas if a cop is called out to a tense situation involving someone black and involving someone white, has there been any racial sensitivity or unconscious bias training that has been passed down through the various police departments to try to combat some of this thing? If you're soulmates in law enforcement, drop down in the comments and let us know if you guys have received any memos or maybe Encyclopedia Al knows. <laughs> you know, I know. So yes, Q, there has been a number of different jurisdictions that have done just that, and that is have racial, racial um, sensitivity training. We know New York City has adopted that. We know that New Orleans is on the um, curve of adopting that. We know that LA needs to do more in adopting that. But yes, there has been some uh, injection of that, but it's always been there, Q. Unfortunately, it depends on how they take it and apply it. And obviously the application of it still hasn't really worked out to our advantage as much. We, we can have all the police training we want, but until they change their recruitment policies of right. police where they get rejects that couldn't get into the military or 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 were not popular in high school. And also the police department is infiltrated with white supremacists. They talk about it and clans members, they are signing up for that job 
left and right. We need to get more of us in there. The training ain't gonna matter if in your heart you're white supremacist. Right, you're still the same. You know what I'm saying? 